Let's do another video about stoichiometry. In the last one, we did a problem where we went from moles to moles. And remember, that is the key relationship. We always, always, always have to compare moles to moles in our recipe. This one, we're going to start with mass and then convert the mass to moles so that we can do the mole to mole conversion. All right? <clears throat> so... Let me reiterate again, very, very, very important rule. We can only compare moles to moles. Do not forget that. You cannot compare grams to grams. You have to convert grams to moles and then do a moles to moles ratio. So if we are given grams for a quantity instead of moles, we first have to convert the grams into moles, okay? then we can proceed like the mole-to-mole -mole comparison problems that we did in the previous video. So let me help you get started on problem number 40. And let's do that one together, and then you can do some of the others on your own. But I notice in the directions here, we're trying to find the answer in moles, but they give us one of the numbers in grams. So we cannot plug that in directly, okay? Now, I already took the liberty here to balance the equation, but let's talk about why. <clears throat> First thing I looked at was that I have a P4 over here, and so I only have one P here, so I needed a 4 in front, okay? Once I had that, then I went back and looked at the hydrogen, and I said, oh, okay, we need 12 hydrogen, so we need a 6 on the other side, and then that allowed the oxygen to be balanced. Yay! So let's start with <clears throat> first converting the 125 grams of water, and we need to figure out how many moles is that. Well, let's think about it. H2O, each hydrogen is 1, oxygen is 16, so H2O is a mass of 18 grams. So, if I start with 125 grams of water, and I'm going to multiply by one mole on the top, put the 18 grams on the bottom, and then solve that, I will find out how many moles I have of water. And I'm going to round it off to 6.94 um, I had the score key near me, and they carried it out to a lot more decimal places, and they rounded off to 6.938. But let's go with 6.94. That is how many moles of water we have, okay? So we are told we have 125 grams of water. What we did is we figured out how many grams are in one mole, right here. And then we took the 125 grams and converted it into the number of moles. So now that number can go right up here. 6.94 moles of water. Multiply that times the 4 moles of H3PO4 divided by the 6 moles of water. So the water cancels out. And you are not going to get a whole number. You're going to get a decimal number. <clears throat> All right, so I'll let you finish that, and then that will be the number of moles of the H3PO4, phosphoric acid. <clears throat> All right, so you go ahead and finish that, and uh, you can compare your answer to the score key then when you're done.